Hi, darlings. This is going to be for my Leos. And this is going to be for the week of the 6th through the 11th. I am a little behind. 6th through the 11th of March. I am a little behind because I am helping someone. And it's taking up a lot of my time. I would like to ask for you to have patience with me. But I should be back on track by midweek. Okay? So... Leo, I will be using the Witch's Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot Cards. To clarify. So Leo, this is for you. So Leo, this is for you. The Eight of Pentacles, working on something, you're determined, trying to make some money, or you're doing some kind of training. The Four of Wands, celebration, reunion, happiness. The Knight of Cups. Ooh, you're going to have a romantic rendezvous. It might be a young blonde man or a woman. You never know. Ah, the Knight of Pentacles. Expect a test. Okay, you're going to be tested again. This is the Knight of Pentacles. I don't know if I showed you. I can't remember. It's not going to be filled with drama or anything. It's going to be a test of your honor. And personal beliefs. And with that, the Ace of Cups. Maybe a new beginning with abundance. And the universe is building something for you. The Three of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups, it might have to do with love. Maybe unified love. And the Eight of Cups, you find love and then you want to walk away. You Oh, you want to leave the past behind. So is this unified love in the past? You want to move on with your life? Then darling, move on with your life. Darlings, don't let anything hold you back. Because a happy family is waiting for you. Happiness, the Ten of Cups. Take care of your family, okay? Boy. a lot of people want to move on this cycle here so on top of the eight of pentacles came the four of wands <clears throat> happiness sorry family reunions maybe you're going home maybe you're finally going home maybe you've been away for a while 
And the Knight of Pentacles, you need to have a little patience, though, okay? And you will have unexpected sources of income. And this card says time heals all wounds. I think time doesn't heal it. We have to go back and visit it, you know, to heal it. And then in time, we'll learn how to handle it when we're triggered. So on top of the four of um, wands is the ace of um, swords. That You're going to have some kind of mental clarity. It's, it's coming. You're going to have new ideas. You're going to be able to do something. Mentally. And what it might be that you might be able to do. I have the five of swords here. You might be able to finally walk away from self-sabotaging behavior. Okay, I got the five of swords and I got the ace of swords. So the king of cups, I mean the knight of cups, the knight of cups. So I said romantic rendezvous. The, the universe is building something for you. Um, if it's not that, I would say somebody's going to come and bring gifts to you. Might be romantic in nature, but the universe is building something for you. Some kind of teamwork. It could be with you more than one person, or it could be you. Um, it could be someone teaching you something. You're learning to. You're learning a new area of study, or you. You know, trying something new. And I have the King of Pentacles here, which is saying that you are a businessman and you're going after something. Or this could be an energy in your environment, which could be a Virgo, a Taurus. Or a Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. But the Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So, I mean, Pentacles is finances. But remember, you got a test coming. There's a test coming your way. And it has to do with your honor. Okay? And it might have to do with an air energy. A Gemini. A Libra. Or an Aquarius. You have a test coming. Listen. Pay attention. And once you fulfill that test or you pass that test, you're going to have independent wealth. You're going to have success. You will be financially stable and secure. I got the... Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. There's some kind of something you have to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, mend. You have to mend some kind of broken bridge there, I think. And the Ace of Cups, abundance. Abundance is on the horizon for you, Leo. And happy family as well, darling. Marriage, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, it's possible. Everything is possible. Happiness is possible. You need to heal. And the Knight of Cups, your romantic proposals are coming. You are going to take some romantic proposals to someone. Yep. And on top of the Three of Pentacles, whatever the universe is building for you, you have a decision to make. The decision will have to do with um, a financial new beginning for you. Okay, so this might be a new start for you. So do what you need to do. Do it with your heart. Do it honorably. And things will work out. Unified love. And here is the seven, the seven of um, swords. You might be able, to, maybe you're now starting to see um, people for who they are. Maybe you're starting to see through their trickery and their lies or something. Maybe something is waking you up. But you need to do some healing because you're always looking back over your shoulder, you know, like expecting the worst. Stop doing that to yourself. And you're going to have good news in regards to a job. Okay? You just have to believe. And the Eight of Cups, you want to leave the past behind, and you should. 
But remember, we don't really leave it behind. We just don't think about it. We heal. And when something triggers us, we know how to handle it a little better or a lot better. So on top of the Eight of Cups came the Six of Swords. Transition, moving forward, progress, and learning to budget. Or you might be holding on to people that no longer serve you or holding on to things that no longer serve you. You, need, you have a tight grasp and stuff that you need to let go, okay? And you will find happiness. This is the Ten of Cups here. You got the Ten of Cups up here as well. Happy family, darlings. Happy family. However, with this happy family, somehow or the other, there was a broken heart. But this broken heart can be healed. It's the sun card. Happiness and positivity. You just have to believe. I love you. You take good care of yourself, okay? And I will see you soon. Bye.